do this, you have to have the most updated version of the iOS software on your iPad. And then you also have to have stage manager turned off. This is a new feature. It's supposed to make multitasking easier, which, it, which I guess it will with different situations, but I found it to be more difficult to use with DJ Pro AI. So we're gonna go to our settings and then we're gonna scroll down to home screen and multitasking. And then down here, it's multitasking. It is stage manager. Just make sure that it's turned off. All right, so now we go back to DJ Pro AI. And in order to get to the split screen or the slide over menu, it's kind of a hidden feature. So we go up here. If we hover up there, there are three little dots that kind of appear and disappear. If we click that, we're not clicking this middle button. We want to click above it right here and then we get these three these three options which is split sc full screen which is what we're in split sc split view and then slide over so it, some other apps such as safari and other apps you could do split view so it's half and half so let's say you're djing and maybe you want to watch you you could do split view and then we'll go to our our safari internet explorer so let's say we want to use chat GPT, maybe ask it a question because it's 2023. We could use AI to help us DJ. And, or you could go on any website you want to go on, or you could check your social media. You could post stuff to your social media right when you're doing a gig. And it really gives us more options. And we get a pretty, pretty big view of the app. We could do pretty much whatever we want. We could see the waveforms. You do miss some stuff because it split the screen in half, but it is still a really cool feature. And now to go back to full screen, what we're going to do is we're going to press the three dots on the DJ app, not on the other app that we're using. We're going to want to go in DJ Pro AI, click the th three dots, and then we are going to go full screen. So now we are back in full screen. So very easily, we could just press the two dots, split view, boom, choose our app and we're in two, two apps at the same time. And to go back, we just press full screen. There we are. And now you're probably asking yourself, Justin, what does slide over do? So uh, we'll go over here. And for an example, uh, another app that's really cool to use with DJ Pro AI is the launch pad. So if we go to split view and then we go to the launch pad, it says up here, split view not supported. But what we could do is we could go back to DJ Pro and we could go and press slide over. So slide over is the one under split view. So we're gonna go to slide over. So you see DJ Pro is kind of hidden over there until we find the next app that we wanna use. And then slide over, choose another app, launch pad. So now what we have is a somewhat limited version of DJ Pro AI. It's kind of similar to if you were using the app on your phone but you could still use the app. You still could see the waveforms. You could still switch up here. You could go into pro mode. You could go classic mode, looper. Well, well no, it appears that we could only stay in this one mode. So clicking those don't change anything. But we could load songs and we could do pretty much anything we want to do involving DJing. We have our waveforms and we have loopers and then we have our cues. So you could load up a loop into the launch pad. And kind of scratch along with it. You could get really creative with this. You could set a loop and then you could play the vocals of another song or you could play the beat of another song. And then you have two apps playing at the same time. It gives you a lot more flexibility and you could do a lot more in the app. And then you could also, if you hold it down, you grab it by the top, the three dots, and you hold it. You can move it to the left or the right. You can't put it in the middle. And then you could also, if you go all the way down, it brings it to the side. And then you'll get th this arrow, if you could see it all the way to the right. And you could press the arrow, bring it back. And then let's say we want to go back to DJing with only DJ Pro AI. We could go full screen. And now we're back into DJ Pro AI. So basically what it does is it allows you to use multiple apps at the same time. 
So if you learned something from this video, give it a like. If you want to learn more in future videos about DJ Pro AI and all the new features, subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. Thanks for watching.